Hey everybody, I'm Justin with ExcelSmith, where our goal is to build better Excel users. On this episode of Solutions, we'll take a list of first and last names and convert the first name to just an initial. There are times when we need to increase the privacy of personal data within our reporting. One of the most common fields for this is a person's name. In this scenario, we want to replace the first names in our list with just the first initial. To accomplish this, we need these formulas. Links to the Microsoft support pages for these formulas is in the description below. Let's dive in. Our example contains a single column with individuals' full names. To extract just the first letter of the first name, we use the left formula. The first parameter in the left formula is the cell containing the value we would like to modify. In this case, that would be the name in cell A2. The next parameter of left is how many characters from the beginning we would like to extract. In our example, we only want the first letter, so we will enter 1 for this parameter. Next, we want to add a period after the first initial. This is definitely not a necessary step, I just like the way it looks. To do this, we append, or concatenate, by entering an ampersand followed by a period and a space inside quotes. Now that we have the first letter of the first name followed by a period and a space, we move on to extracting the last name. Like the period, we will add the last name to the end of our text by first typing an ampersand. To bring in the last name, we will use the right formula. Like the left formula, the first parameter of the right formula is the cell containing the value we would like to modify. For this equation, that's A2. However, the second parameter behaves slightly differently between the left and right formulas. In the left function, the second parameter is how many characters you want going from left to right. In the right formula, the second parameter is the number of characters you want going from right to left. This means that to pull in the last name of our first entry, we enter 8 as the second parameter, which is the number of letters in Franklin when counting from right to left. Unfortunately, we can't leave the second parameter as 8 as this would only work for individuals with last names that are exactly 8 characters. For example, if we drag this formula down to cell B3, we do not get the desired results. Let's delete this and modify our equation so that it brings in the correct last name. To pull in the last name, we need to know how many characters make up just the last name. To accomplish this, we will count the total number of characters in the full name, then subtract out the number of characters in the first name, including the space following the first name. This result will give us the number of characters in the last name. To get the total number of characters, we use the len formula, which only takes one parameter the value whose length we would like to know. Using lin on our first value gives us 16. To determine how many characters are in the first name, we can use the find function. Find takes two parameters, the value we want to find and the location where we would like to find this value. In our scenario, we want to find the space following the first name. To do this, we set the first parameter of find to a space between two quotes. For the second parameter, we enter A2, which contains the value we would like find to review. Submitting this equation, we get 8. This is the number of characters in the first name up to and including the space following the first name. Subtracting the result of our find formula from the result of the lend formula will give us the number of characters in the last name. For our first value, that's 8. Dragging these formulas down to the next row gives us 5, which is the number of characters in Dylan. We now have all of the components needed to complete our equation. Let's delete the formulas in row 3 and modify our initial equation to incorporate our len and find formulas. First, we need to remove the 8 from the second parameter of the right formula. Next, we enter our len equation, which takes cell A2 as the only parameter. Last, we subtract out the number of characters in the first name plus the space. To do this, we use find. The first parameter is set to a space between two quotes, and the last parameter is set to cell A2. Closing our parentheses and pressing enter gives us our desired result, A Franklin with a period after the first initial. We can now delete the formulas in columns C through E, and then drag our completed equation down to cover all of the values in column A. Because the objective was to replace the full names with our abbreviated name, we need to replace the formulas we created with their resulting values. Otherwise, when we remove column A, our formulas will break as they no longer have a name to reference. To replace the formulas, we first select all of the values in cells B2 through B16. We then click Copy, or press Ctrl-C on a PC or Command-C on a Mac. Lastly, we select Paste Values. We can now safely remove column A, which will leave us with our abbreviated names. To recap, 
We first extracted the first letter of the first name by using left. We then appended a period and a space to make the result more visually appealing. Next, we used right to extract the last name. For the second parameter of right, we used lin and find to determine how many characters were in each person's last name. Lastly, we replaced our formulas with their values by copying and pasting values on top of our formulas. This allowed us to remove the column containing the full names without breaking our abbreviated names. This idea of improving privacy within our data isn't limited to just extracting portions of an individual's name. For example, we could use the concepts in this video with some modification to convert a credit card number into a series of X's preceding the last four digits, or pull the domain from an email address. Just make sure to include logic in the second parameter of your left and right formulas to zero in on the part of the text you're needing. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Also, leave a comment below if you have an example where you've used the left and right formulas to modify your text to improve privacy. Thanks for watching.